Hey, welcome back to the Peter Schiff Show. Tom Woods in for Peter. I am not going to take much time introducing Ron Paul to you guys because you know who he is, and we have such limited time with him. But if you have read any of my stuff or seen any of my videos responding to his detractors, you know something, some fraction of my esteem for this man. So let me just welcome him to the program right now. Welcome, Ron Paul. Thank you, Tom. It's nice to be with you. All right, let's, let's jump right in here. Tell us about your Ron Paul channel. Well, you know, there was a, a debate one time a couple years ago where I didn't think I got a fair shake. In a two-hour debate, I had 89 seconds. I thought, maybe there's something wrong with the media. Maybe they're not covering us fairly. Right. Uh, I'm just using that as a pun, but there's a bit of truth to this. We don't get a fair shake. The people who believe in liberty and limited government uh, don't expect it from the ordinary media. And today there's this tremendous opportunity on the Internet. It was proven during our campaign that uh, the information we got out, which was significant, went through the Internet. It didn't go through the majors. And uh, I think uh, you can't ignore this, and especially with the young people. Young people use the Internet and handheld devices. Uh, they don't sit and watch TV and turn the programs on at 7 o'clock to watch us or anything like that. So I thought the technology was there. Uh, the country is ripe for the continuation of this revolution that you and others have been involved in. This message is being spread, and uh, there's been this plan in place. We've been planning this for several months to come up with something where we can do it on a routine basis on the Internet and have a very, very well-designed uh, program to bring as many people as we can together to promote these views that are t being totally ignored either by our government or our professors uh, or the media. So is it going to have uh, news programming? Is it going to be commentary? What kind of programming can we expect? Well, there, there's, there's going to be news. Uh, I'd like to, on a routine basis, as, po as, as uh, often as possible, to come up with an item. You know, on every, the program would last 30 minutes. At least one item of news that's available uh, you know, in various ways with friends and, and uh, others that I can get that would never be shown. It might be out there, but nobody's ever going to talk about it. So I want to, I want to do that. I would also like to pick up you know, some of the cliches on foreign policy and economics, and they float around all the time, assumptions even on our business cessations, you know, about the business cycle. Catch somebody in just repeating this, which is supposed to be the gospel, and explain, explain these cliches. Also, I'm anxious to include in the program as often as possible something pretty positive, you know, something going on. We hear these stories, and I don't want to just dwell on all the problems. We do a lot of that. But, you know, whether it's a state level, and you keep up with that so much on, uh, on nullification, I think there's a significant group of people now, left and right. I mean, just think of how the people who would like the states to decide what the marijuana laws would be. These are basically liberals, and they're arguing the case for nullification. So I think when there are victories, even though they're not permanent and total, I think we should emphasize those rather than ignoring them. The website is ronpaulchannel.com, where you can sign up to get information about the upcoming channel. Do you have a, a launch date uh, set yet? Well, uh, the official probably will be in August, but there will be people who sign up will get more information and maybe some examples going out there. But it will probably be the first part of August that the official uh, pro programming will start. So uh, it's, a, it's a major undertaking. Uh, it's not quite like... We have been used to doing YouTube. You know, YouTube, you get a camera, man, you stick it out there. Uh, and uh, that's all there is to it. This is real, real programming. Uh, and, but the one nice part about this, it accepts, you know, a principle of the YouTube in that you don't have advertising. You don't have precise times. You don't cut people off. If I have a good program going and it's scheduled for 30 minutes and – it's 29 minutes or 30. Nobody, nobody's going to beep in and say, close down. It's, right. it's the channel. It belongs to us. It belongs to uh, the, the organization that's going to run it. So, you, you know, if, if I do a program for 30 minutes, say from 11 o'clock to 11.30, and it's over, and at 12 o'clock, 
there's something big going on, something, you know, maybe another war in Egypt or something like that, and you want to talk about it, we can click back on again. So we can we can jump in anytime, and, and you know how quickly things change financially. Look at what happens when these silly things come up with the Federal Reserve and they make an announcement and the whole world is turned upside down merely by the words that are chosen. And I would like to be able to get as many people involved that are, you know, really expert in this and respond to it as uh, quickly as possible. And as uh, as usual, I, I want to keep up very much with, uh, you know, the uh, foreign policy and the wars that are going on. That are, they're so significant on economics, you know, the marketplace, plus especially the uh, Federal Reserve. And then once again, the great concern that American people are experiencing now with the destruction of our privacy and the destruction of our civil liberties. And uh, one other goal that I would have is to try to revive some of the coalitions uh, to be anti-war. That was supposed to be a liberal idea. You know, progressives are supposed to be against war. But where are they now with uh, Obama? <laughs> you know, uh, it, they're more Democrats than they are progressives. And this is the reason I really like to work with people uh, from different factions who at least are honest uh, and not just pure Democrats. Uh, for instance, in the Institute for Peace and Prosperity, Dennis uh, Kucinich is working with me. Now, he's a progressive, and we disagree politely on economic matters, but at the same time, we feel strongly about civil liberties and war, and nobody speaks on the left uh, you know, very, very often for the anti-war because, oh, we can't challenge Obama. Obama won the peace prize, you know, that kind of nonsense. Well, we've got only a couple minutes left. I just want to give you a chance to say something about that uh, Ron Paul Institute for Peace and Prosperity, ronpaulinstitute.org is another important thing you've done since retiring. You, you were talking to Mike Church once, and he asked, uh, so you're retiring from Congress, you know, what are you going to do next? And you said to him something like, well, I'm not going to be sitting in a rocking chair, I can tell you that, and it <laughs> seems to be true. So just just a brief word before you have to run about what the Ron Paul Institute for Peace and Prosperity is all about. Well, uh, in discussion with Daniel McAdams, who worked with me for a good many years on foreign policy, who's a real expert on this, we've set up the Ron Paul uh, Institute for Peace and Prosperity, uh, which is designed mainly to deal with uh, the complicated messes around the world, uh, you know, on foreign policy. But the neat thing that we have, our, our job is not uh, so difficult. We see the messes that are created by our, our uh, in, involvement. The solution is pretty simple. We ought to just stay out of that. And, uh, and Daniel I is a real expert, and we have quite a few people working with him, and we're going to have conferences. So I think it's very, very important. I thought at the beginning, well, yeah, this is important, but, but who cares? And there's no, uh, nothing like the 1960s where there was this anti-Vietnam sentiment. But to our surprise, there's been a lot of support and a lot of encouragement. So I think it's a very important thing that we're doing there as well. Well, I promised I would get you off by uh, 10, 15 a.m. Central. I'm keeping that promise. Uh, Ron Paul, you are an inspiration to us all. Best of luck with these ventures. Talk to you again soon. Thank you, Tom. That's Ron Paul, everybody. RonPaulChannel.com and RonPaulInstitute.org. I strongly urge uh, upon you.